Lord, I'm separated. I'm living life for you. I lay my life down at your feet for your use. Come purify my heart, clean up my. Well, hello, darlings, and welcome back. If you do love lifestyle, travel, and fashion videos, make sure you stay tuned. Well, today is all about the new fall makeup look I have for you. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is put on my moisturizer. And I'm not going to forget the lips because, baby, it is fall and these lips can get chapped. All right, so let's go ahead and get going with the eyebrows. You have already seen this, and if not, I will have a video at the bottom for you to just click straight on through. And let's go ahead and speed past this. All right, so that looks good. So let's go ahead and put some concealer on. This is something that you can get anywhere. I use the orange because it helps with the dark spot circles that are up under my eyes. And I love using this too. This is considered a foundation brush and it goes on so smoothly. All right, so let's go ahead and add the concealer and I am using Juvia. Now they have so many different colors for you to choose from. And this one right here is my favorite uh, color to use in the fall and winter months. Now, if you did not know that you are supposed to change your foundation and concealer colors because your face tones do change each season. And I will have all the information listed at the bottom for you. What well, another thing that I found have been successful for me is using concealer on your eyelid. It helps keep whatever colors, your um, bronzers, your eyeshadows on your eyes perfectly and for a long period of time. All right, so now I'm using powder foundation. This is uh, one of my favorite products from Fendi Beauty. It blends so perfectly um, with my concealer. So I love to use this after I apply my concealer uh, around my eyes and on the top of my forehead. I don't rub, I dab. Dip, 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 dab, 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 it up under my eyes. And then I just smoothly brush the other parts of my face. I am using setting powder up under my eyes um, and then I'm also going to use it on my forehead. I place this on my face where I want to get a little lighter uh, shade to me because after this I will be adding the bronzer. 
Um, one thing that I do love to do when I apply the bronzer is to first do it in a C motion from my cheek to my under cheek. And then I go over the forehead with the number three. It is a very easy process. It keeps it right where I want my bronzer to be on my face. And then I'm also going back in with the um, setting powder to give it that contour look. Now what I'm doing is that I'm adding the bronzer on my eyelid in the shape of my nose. And I'm using this brush that I did get from the beauty supply store. It makes it so easy to apply it. So I'm going back in with another brush to dust off the ex excess, as you say, powder from the setting um, powder from around uh, my eyes and also at the forehead, uh, top of my forehead. Uh, this brush is a brush I love using. Um, I will have this brush listed in uh, the bottom and also in my Amazon storefront. Now I am using an eyeliner black. To be honest, you really don't need to, in my opinion, to spend a lot of money on an eyeliner. I get my eyeliners from the beauty supply store or either from Dollar Tree. They work perfectly. And what I'm doing is just going up under my eyelid. And then I'm also going to go in the crease of my eye as well. So I'm gonna add some of the highlight glimmer on my cheeks. I love to use the red to give it that pop. And then I go behind that and add the silver to give it an additional glow. So the next thing I'm doing is adding a little uh, glimmer shine to the creases of my eyes. All right, so let's talk about today's sponsor, Kim Use. They are a vegan mascara, and you know I do not love wearing lashes because I can't put them on. But they said that this product will give you the lashes that I'm looking for. So let's see if it works. You see that my eyes, you see I have no lashes, and my eyelashes are thin. So let's see if this is going to work. Oh my goodness, look at my eyelashes. Do you see a difference? They are actually coming out. And that was just with one coat. And I'm putting on this second coat. And it looks like individual eyelashes that is on my eye. You see the difference from the other side to this side? <laughs> Wow, it is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the other eye. And it's just bringing each of my eyelashes out. This looks amazing. And you guys can see a difference. You can actually see my eyelashes. Wow. All right, I laugh at myself. It's time to put on the setting spray. I don't know why I have to spray it on uh, in the air, but 
um, I guess that's just, just a habit that I do but let's go ahead and add the lipstick because it is fall I am going to use a fall color and I got this from Sephora and I will have that information listed at the bottom for you So I'm taking the scarf off and pull my hair down. And so what I'm doing is just pulling uh, the hair apart to give it a more full effect, a full look. I will have this information of the hair that I purchased in my Amazon storefront. This is human hair and it is the best hair to me to use when you are crocheting your hair. And then I am adding some hairspray to give it that shine and that favor fragrant smell to it because this is a protective style. Thank you Kim Yu's for sponsoring today's video. I simply, simply love my lashes. Until the next video.